Hello muskies. This uh, screencast is to help you in checking in your portfolio items for science and also uh, for working on your reflections uh, as part of your portfolio process. Right now I'm looking at our portfolio table of contents for the 8th grade and I'm focused in here on the science section and you'll see here we've got a list of items that should be curated in our portfolio and so you can use this to help you get started so that you don't miss anything that needs to be in the portfolio and then you'll notice here at the top uh, there is a link that you can click and as you click this link it'll take you to our portfolio reflection directions and so you'll see here it says please follow the guidelines below when adding pieces to your portfolio for my classes each item placed in your portfolio should have a reflection your reflection should be typed in your e-portfolio and then a paper copy should be placed in your three ring binder portfolio and you can print your reflection right from your e-portfolio and when you're ready for that I can show you how to do it the directions for your reflection the first one is you're gonna have a title that makes sense and I have an example there for number one then the second thing you do is record the learning target or targets for the piece that you're reflecting on you're also going to find a way to include one of our AVW logos below in your reflection and then uh, you're going to describe what you did to complete the project assignment or assessment just a paragraph explaining what it was all about and then another uh, section on describing what you learned by completing the work and then as always we like to reflect on our habits of scholarship as you worked on the piece uh, and if you're reflecting on a test you're going to describe what you did to prepare for the test and then your overall how do you feel about your finished work you can discuss your grade but more importantly discuss um, your effort level what you learned and what the end result was and how you feel about that your writing should be in paragraph form <clears throat> and I would say to do a quality job with this you need at least two solid paragraphs and then check for success using our protocol and the last part uh, number 10 here make sure that you adjust your sharing settings <clears throat> and they're always over here in the blue link to make sure that anyone at our school can see them in case we're doing some critiquing or conferencing or just sharing with other students or adults in the school building and so once again you start with your table of contents to make sure you get everything then you work on your reflection and then there's one final step and we're gonna start this soon but uh, you would then get a science portfolio check-in sheet when you've got it all taken care of you're gonna put the name of the assignment assessment whatever it, it isn't that you're curating and then you're going to share that with one male student and one female student and they're going to give you some feedback uh, make sure you've got everything that you need make sure that it's there and then they're gonna sign um, in the right column and then once you've got your signatures and had done it have done any um, fixing up or improving of your reflection uh, or the way that you've organized your work then you're going to check it in with me and I'll give you the final initial then you're gonna keep this check-in sheet really safe uh, there will be some times uh, that I will collect it and record that into Skyward. Hopefully this is helpful. Uh, once you get going and if you have any questions, just let me know. And it's best to start right away. If you've got some extra time in a class or in habits of scholarship, to make sure you do a little bit 
over time rather than save it all uh, for the very end that might be stressful for you. Remember it's a great day to be a muskie. Until next time.